This guide shows you what to do if you've opened up Windows 10 and you've got tiles on your screen instead of your normal desktop. Now this can sometimes happen if a setting is changed during an update or an upgrade of Windows 10 or a program might have, might have done it. So uh, how do you get out of it? So first of all, move your mouse down to this cog in the bottom left hand corner of the screens. That's the settings cog. Now don't worry if settings doesn't appear when uh, you move your mouse over it like mine did. You might be running the slightly older version of Windows 10. Just move your mouse over the cog, left click once. You'll then get the Windows settings come up. Move your mouse into the box that says find a setting and left click once. And then in that box type tablet. Okay, and you'll see this list appear below the word tablet and move your mouse over tablet mode settings and left click once. Okay, then move your mouse over when I sign in or the drop down box just below it. Now it might say here use tablet mode, it might say use the appropriate mode for my hardware. But uh, click on the little drop down just below the box below when I sign in and move your mouse over use desktop mode and left click once. So now it should say when I sign in use desktop mode. OK, so next thing we need to do is we just need to move our mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen here. Left click once. OK, and then we move our mouse over this icon just here, which is a picture of a head and shoulders, or it might be your sign on photo. Left click once, OK, then move your mouse over the word sign out and once again, left click once. It will now sign you out, OK, and then when you get a picture up on your screen and the date and the time, then left click anywhere on the desktop and move your mouse over sign in and left click once. Now at this point, if you've got a password set, it might ask for your password. So type in the password and then press the arrow or press the enter or return button on your keyboard. Now, once we sign in, hopefully we should be back. There we go to the normal desktop. Okay, so I hope this guide helped. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.